Hello, so I finally got a plate carrier. Now I've not got plates for it yet, but I have got armour to put in it. So I think this the name of this is a British Mark IV Osprey vest. There's been a series of British Osprey armours, but this is sort of one of the very current generation ones. And if you want to buy these on eBay with the complete set, as in the vest, all the pouches, the Kevlar and the plates, they cost in the region of 300 to 600 pounds, which I can't really be prepared to spend on armour. But if you want to spend a lot less, you can actually get them all set up yourself. So this vest itself was around £35 for the vest of a load of the pouches. Um, but it didn't include the uh, Kevlar or the plates. But for around £30 again, you can buy a front and back police issue level 2 uh, plate with stab and knife protection, spike protection. Not as good as the military 3A panels, but it's good enough for what I want in a vest. And then I'm going to look into getting plates separately. So let me show you the vest first of all. You'll see on the back I fit the GSR satchel to actually use it like a rucksack. So I'll put the plates in in a second, but let me just quickly show you the vest. So the inside looks like this. You see there's a zip section for um, Kevlar panels. So let's just get this on. Yeah, there we go. So pretty simple. Let me just pull this bit over. There we go, so that's the vest on. Fairly comfortable actually, obviously the more weight in it the less comfortable it would be, but normally I imagine you'd have some sort of shirt on under there with a bit more padding in the shoulders. So, I've just got this set up for whatever pouches it came with, which are I guess a couple of magazine pouches and some of the larger utility pouches. But yeah, it's pretty practical and the GSR bag in the back obviously could work as a rucksack. Like a smallish rucksack, but although, although you could have your respirator in it, it obviously works a bit like a rucksack as well being in there. So, what I'm going to do now is put the panels in. So, these are the panels I have. Um, Kevlar Level 2 front and back panels with spike protection. Now, you'll see I've actually cut this one open. That was me that did that. They didn't come, they came in like perfect condition for being, they were like grade A second hand. But what I did was I very carefully cut into there. Uh, just so I could actually have a look at what the sort of panels were inside um, to work out which bit offers the stab protection which I guess is those sandpaper looking layers and which is the bulletproof protection so obviously this is the front side where you can see that and that's the um, rear side, the side that faces towards the body so what it would look like is when it's in the vest it would look like that, the other one would be in the back I don't know if these are the exact right sizes for the be uh, vest because obviously I just bought police style ones. These are manufactured in the USA so they're obviously not for the British vests but they should work. So let me open the vest up and slide these in and what I'm also going to do is for the front panel I'm going to reinforce that somehow. If I can get an actual trauma plate I'll use that. For the time being I'm going to shove this chopping board in there. Why you might ask? Because this will stop knives as you might be able to see from the front. It will also very much slow down crossbow bolts so anything that might in terms of like knives or whatever could get through this panel um, even though it's a stab and spike resistant panel, stuff with enough force still can penetrate them. This in the front would stop that. And then this is just a placeholder. When I find a proper tra trauma plate or a reinforced stab panel, I'd get that to replace the chopping board. So let me set that up now and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so just to show you the Kevlar plates or panels in there. Behind that, there is an actual trauma plate pocket which Velcro's up. I've got the chopping board in there. So basically, this is the side towards the body as specified. I've got basically both a Kevlar panel in there and the chopping board. In the rear panel I'm just going to have the standard level 2 spike and stab protection panel uh, without anything else because generally the frets will be coming towards you, not in your back. Right, and here's the vest with both the plates in. So, wow, the Kevlar panels and the chopping board, but let's get it on. So, that's still not uncomfortable. Because this is obviously a load-bearing style vest, it means that you can wear it without being too uncomfortable in that regard. And yeah, as you can probably hear, that's got the chopping board there. The chopping board definitely covers all my vitals, which is brilliant. <laughs> it fits. That's where the top of the chopping board is there. So you might be able to see the ridge on it, maybe. It goes pretty much to where this um, Alice clip or Molly clip, whatever it is they call it, that's there. So, yeah, the chopping board stops here, goes to there, goes to there. So, yeah, that covers my entire front, and the chopping board ends about there. 
So all my vital organs are covered by the chopping board. The Kevlar plate is a bit, or Kevlar panel is a bit bigger, that goes a bit higher. So that covers me up until about there. So all my vital organs are covered by the Kevlar. Obviously my throat isn't whatever, and I might want to adjust some of these shoulder bits a bit to pull maybe a panel up a bit higher. On the back, the Kevlar panel will go from here to here, which you might be able to see, all the way up the back. So yeah, that's covered me. There's a bit of gaps in the sides that aren't covered by this type of vest. The Kevlar panel that does reach around goes to about here, but there is obviously still stuff under your armpits and all that that would get hit by shrapnel. But as said, I'm a civilian, I'm not a soldier. This is good enough for what I need. Now, the chopping board will definitely stay in there for now. I'm actually impressed that that's almost the exact right size for it. However, what I will do at some point is get one of those um, armoured upgrade panels and fit that in. On order at the moment, I've got a carrier for the pelvic armour, because I also bought the Calvic, uh, Calvic Pevlar armour that keeps your groin intact, because I'd really not have my cock blown off. So um, that's going to go in there as well. Now, just to give you an idea how far armour has come, if you take a look at the early flak jackets, um, this is basically offers far, far better protection than something like that did, and it's not all that much different in weight. Uh, much better in utility as well of how many things you can attach to these and you know accessories you can stick on and whatever else so yeah um, all in all pretty impressed with this so my current running cost for this um, I'm not sure what the chopping board cost but as I said that's just a placeholder um, I use that usually just usually just use that for like knife type tests um, this was about 35 odd pounds if we include the postage the front and back Kevlar panel with postage was about £33, so we're looking close to £70 for the carrier itself with the accessory pouches and the Kevlar front and back panel. Um, when I get the pelvic cover for the pelvic armour, that would be about another £15 for including both the cover, £15 to £20 for including both the cover and the pelvic armour itself. So then you're looking at another £20, so you're looking at £90. So for at the moment, I've spent about £90 on this and I've got it almost up to military spec. All I'd need to do if I wanted it for real military spec is find um, two trauma plates, one for the front, one for the back, but there's lots of alternatives to those, and as I don't really expect to be shot at with real rifle rounds, how I've got it set up at the moment is probably good enough of a chopping board to give you some very good stab protection, probably crossbow bolt protection, on top of a regular Kevlar panel. Um, should all be good. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is my British Mark IV Osprey vest, I believe it is. Um, kind of set up for stuff. Now, uh, obviously, I'm not going to be walking around with this on. This is more just for the sake of owning one, and, you know, in case I really do need something like this in some sort of horrible event in the future at some point. But for what I've got at the moment, this is pretty sturdy and solid. So thanks for watching, and there'll be an update video on this when the pelvic armour bits come, and I can set them up as well. 